Okay, we're gonna do the reverse wrap with a single yucca leaf. And this is to make cordage so that you could get or make cordage from the same plant. So typically what I do is I pull off one small strip from the yucca leaf and then I take my thumbnail and I scratch off the cellulose material because I want to get down to the fibers underneath. That's what I'm going to use for the reverse wrap. And I believe, if I'm correct, I've already done this to a piece, but you can see what I'm doing here. That's the reason my fingers are so green is I'm using my thumbnail. Now, if you didn't have thumbnails, you could use the dull side of your knife. I wouldn't use your knife blade because that can actually cut the fibers. I've seen people pound these out on rocks, but the problem with that that I found is sometimes, again, you damage the fibers and then they break up. So here's a piece that I did real quick while we're walking down. And so what you want to do with the reverse wrap is have one side longer than the other because you're going to have to splice these together. So I'm going to make this my longer side here and I'm just going to kind of wrap that up, start to twist it, and then I'm going to bend it. Almost like um, you would with a rope. I'm kind of making a little bite in the rope there. So I'm going to twist this bottom one, the shorter one, then I'll twist the top one and then I'll wrap them over. And I know that was hard to see because my fingers were kind of covering it up, but I'll repeat that process. So I'm twisting. So I'm, I'm going counterclockwise here, I guess. Twist this one and then wrap it over. So I twist in this direction. I twist the other one in the same direction and then I wrap them around each other. So I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here, but that's a reverse wrap. And I just keep repeating the process. Eventually I'll start to run out of cordage and then you can splice another piece. Now this one hasn't been processed enough, but at least it's enough for me to show you how to splice these together. You don't want to splice the same side at the same time or you'll create a weakness in your reverse wrap. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna do one side, reverse wrap them. And notice how I left a long piece here. That tells me where my first splice was. And it'll give me an indication of how far apart my splices are. Because again, I don't want them right next to each other. I want a good at least inch or two space between them before I put the next splice in. So I'll continue to do this until I need to splice the shorter one. And then once I splice it, I'll try to make it longer than the next. And I just keep repeating that process. Out of a single leaf, you can get a piece about this long. So I've got a leaf, this leaf was actually about a foot and a half long, roughly. And I was able to pull small eighth inch segments out of it, process them out to just get the cord or just get the fibers and then I worked it into some cordage. And that's pretty strong there. I haven't done a tensile strength test yet but it's pretty strong. Stronger than what you would see with just weaving it. So that's a reverse wrap. 